Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon one more time. Um, this time around I'm not really certain what I need to do. I think that if I want to generate enough research, well first of all I need to do some contract work because I want to get six more research points into at least research um, 3D Graphics V2. Uh, so let's find some contract work very quickly. Uh, this is design and technology, that's kind of high. Uh, between the three of them, I think that I'll do just fine. Uh, I am coming off of the game Sheepdog, which was an adventure game. I took advantage of a uh, market sway movement towards, um, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just the market is swaying towards adventure games, which is the reason why I did it. Uh, Levy is really pulling his weight on this uh, job. Market analysis, it seems that the market has normalized. See, what did I say? Uh, Sheepdogs was an adventure game. The market was really favoring adventure games at the time. So, uh... Levy is really pulling his weight on this one. Uh, contract successful. I uh, got $78,000 in the bank for it. $78,000, wow, that's quite a bit of cash. Um, let's, uh, what was it? Let's, um, let's put Drew to work and let's research three graphics V2 for $120,000. Um, I also need to research stereo sound. Uh, Sheepdog is now off the market. It sold 156,000 units generating, oh, over a million in sales. So, uh, it's really important to take advantage of market trends. Unfortunately, there's nothing else that I can really do between the two of my other guys unless I can, uh, do another contract. Uh, that would require a lot of design points and that might work a little bit better because Levy's so efficient. Um, and we wouldn't be... Basically, anything where Levy is working, I don't want to be uh, relying on design points. I want to be relying on technology points. So, uh, this right here might be a bit of a gamble. But I'm going to see if I can do it just between these two. Come on, Levy. Come on. Come on, stop scratching your head. Work. Work harder. Work faster. We need six more points. One. Oh, whew, did it. Okay. Uh, just what we wanted. Transfer 35k. Um, with that done, I think it is time to develop the Strife Engine 3. Let's um, develop this, leave V1 graphics out of it. Um, we'll also keep branching story in there, dialogue trees, better user experience. This thing is going to be ridiculously expensive to, um, to develop. We're going to leave level editor out, or should we? It's only 10k. Uh, it's only 10k. I really want to have some better sound in this engine, but unfortunately, you know, the Strife Engine 3, uh, let's create the engine for $360,000. That's a lot of cash to make, uh, to be pumping into it. Uh, we're gonna get some research points out of this. Not bad. Getting a, I mean, a reasonable amount of research. Uh, nothing phenomenal, super crazy awesome. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to be able to research a useful topic off of the back of this engine. I'm only gonna get like 20 research points. Yeah, just 20 research points. Engine complete, your new game, Strife Engine 3, is now complete. Um, so with that, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is send you on vacation, and I'm gonna use a little bit of research points to train. Whenever our pal Drew gets back here, I think that what we're gonna do is we're going to get a publishing contract, and we're gonna try to make a game, uh, we're gonna try making a medium game. Okay, that's what I want to do this time around. I want to try to make a medium game. I don't know if it's going to work too well, though. Um, until then, this is what we're going to do because it costs less research points and whatnot. Uh, make me think game design for pirates. Uh, let's see. I want to increase his technology again because he is our technology expert. I don't see a reason why he shouldn't be super, super trained in it. And he's going to get some design experience off of it as well. Um... Well, actually, let's uh, let's do don't repeat yourself to increase his speed. And uh, as for me, let's train myself as well. Let's do uh, make me think for th uh, 15 and go forward from there. Start training. Okay, Drew is back in the office now. We'll just wait for these two guys to uh, finish their uh, work. And for that matter, can I... I can't generate a game report. Okay, so uh, day-night cycle. Oh, wow. I didn't know that I didn't have that done yet. Ah, oh, jeez. Jeez, I need more research. I need more research points. I should actually look up a guide for how exactly to go about getting my hands on research uh, points. And, uh, Levy, let's just send you on vacation very quickly here. 
and I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit around and idle a little bit. Today, the new game platform Dreamvast by Venna has been released. Uh, it's not gonna work out too well, I know, so we're just gonna hang out. We're down to three million in cash. Um, okay, Levy is back. Let's find a publishing deal. Uh, this is a 12% royalty, penalty of 125k if we screw uh, it up. Uh, what's uh, a minimum score of seven? Mmm. I don't know. Um, vocabulary adventure game. Wow, I don't know that that would work out too well. And that's that's a. Uh, it's got to be a medium game. So what's this? Uh, it's got to be a medium game with a minimum score of seven. Royalties twelve percent. Upfront pay is one hundred and five thousand dollars. Um. Lowwood Productions. Medieval Simulation. Let's accept this contract, okay? A medieval simulation game. We're gonna make it on the PC. Simulation is our uh, realm of understood expertise. Wait a minute. Let me check my, um... Let's check the game history very quickly here. Uh, Spy Adventure. Okay, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a little bit since our, our last, um simulation games, so uh, let's do the publishing deal, medieval simulation, minimum score of seven, let's hope that this doesn't completely um, flop, let's accept the contract, and it's got to be a medieval simulation, we're going to make it on the PC because that's where it belongs, we're going to use the Strife Engine 3, uh, the game is going to be called Smith and Sword, it's going to be Smith and Sword, a medium game marketed to everyone, oh I can control. But it's a, it's a simulation game, so everyone is who, it's, who it is marketed to on the uh, game front. Um, wow, their initial, their initial payout to us doesn't even cover the cost of uh, level 1 development. That is pretty crap. Okay, so uh, medium everyone, let's go forward from there. Let's do 3D graphics V2, uh, start development. Okay, in two months the Vena, the Vena Oasis will be taken off the market. Okay, not bad. Um, we are in development. Okay, um, engine, gameplay, story, and quests. Let's see, for simulation, engine has got to be high, gameplay is mid, story and quests are low. Um, let's keep this just high enough. Right there. Um, let's do better user experience. Um, Levy, you are our design expert. Um, I will cover gameplay, Drew can cover story and quests, so let's go forward from there. Basically, I just want to make so- oh, small booth, yes, ooh, and that also reminds me. Let's, um, uh, let's just wait for, uh, phase two to kick in, and then we'll start, uh, generating some hype. Let's really throw some money into this. Um, of course, it could crash and burn and completely ruin the company. That's also a possibility. Uh, I'm not going to put in uh, better dialogue trees into this game specifically because it's a simulation game. I don't want to overdo the number of uh, features that I put in. So let's see. To try and allocate everything out properly, uh, dialogues are low on this type of a game. Uh, level design is mid. Artificial intelligence is super high. Uh, let's see if Levy can handle this. No, he's going to be at 103%. So... Um, can I change that? Yeah, I can change it. Okay, so I can handle the artificial intelligence because that's going to uh, uh, that's going to lay it out the best. Um, as for this, we're going to put Drew in charge of level design, and we're going to put Levy in charge of dialogues. So it doesn't really matter if that screws up or anything. So uh, go forward from there. Market analysis, there is a clear trend towards casual games recently. Okay, and now let's go ahead and hop in for marketing. Let's go forward and do magazine and game dem demos for 150,000. We're really, really putting a toll on our cash reserves for this game. Um, if, this ball, if this bombs, I'm in serious, serious trouble. <clears throat> Investment. Dear esteemed sir slash madam, I'm financial advisor to CEO at Womoba Oil Limited in Nigeria. I'm writing because I know of your high repute and trustworthiness. Our CEO has authorized me to invest 2.5 million in Strife E Games. <laughs> we have deposited the amount at a safe bank and will transfer this money to you, but the bank re requires confirmation from you. If you wish to receive the funds, you must transfer a one-time verification payment of 120000 I trust in you. Nigerian email scam, come on! 
Gee, you don't pay money to get money. Okay, games convention. We're, uh, we're, we're doing well. We've, uh, we've got hype going. We've also got stuff going on at the games convention. It looks like we're not really going to get anyone uh, in at our booth this time around. Really, uh, well, we've got 60, 70. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing better than we did last time. About 10,000 more people than uh, last year. So, uh, 176, we didn't make the top 100 booths. Not too bad. Uh, we're still developing the game. We're moving forward to stage 3. Let's see, for simulation, the world design is low. The graphic design is mid and uh, sound is high. Let's see, um, Drew, actually, can Levy handle this? No, no, he can't, so uh, we're gonna have to put Drew on it. Drew is overburdened with this as well, wow. Levy at 97 and um, myself at 100, so Drew is a little bit overburdened for the last stage of this, which means that anything here is gonna suffer a little bit. Um, which isn't optimal, but it's only 3% over, so hopefully it doesn't really, really take away from the game. Granted, that is going to detract from the overall product. Um, let's hope that it works out properly. Uh, hype is at 47, 48. Uh, Veno, Veno Oasis is no longer supported. Okay, not that big of an issue. Uh, let's just sort this out. We've got lots of research points to go forward and um, continue developing a lot of stuff. Let's wait for the guys to iron out the bugs. Uh, one zero news. It appears that a recent. It appears news. It appears that recently a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. The scammers often claimed to invest large sums of money into companies, but required a sizable upfront payment to make the deal. Those who were unwise enough to pay will not see their money again. Police are investigating, but seem helpless to stop these intentional scammers. Yep, there you go. Like I said, okay, so uh, we're... Oh, come on, you developed a bug. Okay, so we're done there. We're gonna go ahead and hop in and do some research right off the bat at, with uh, this done. Go ahead and skip through all of this stuff. New research is available, video play playback, AI companions, and soundtrack. Okay, so uh, you can do some research right off the bat. We will uh, go forward for stereo sound because this has to get researched. Uh, Levy, you can't do anything. Um, can we get some contract work in really, really quickly here? Uh, that's technology points, so that's definitely useful. I just need three more research points to do, like, day and night cycle or something. So, uh, accept the contract. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, game review, first reviews. Let's hope that we get a, at least a seven. Oh, shit. 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 No. Fuck. No. 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 Oh, God damn it. I'm paying a penalty on this one. I'm paying a massive penalty. Fuck me. Oh, God damn it. The game doesn't live up to expe expectations. As per contract penalty will be applied to your account. Fuck me. God damn it. Contract successful. <sighs> Okay, well, I'm gonna have to look up a guide about what topics you should mix, because I think that this should, um, this shouldn't have happened. In fact, okay, yeah, so I just checked a guide over on Steam, because someone did link that uh, several episodes ago. The thing is, um, Medieval and Simulation has no more than, uh, one plus sign next to it as where, like, a really good combination is three plus signs, so I think that definitely contributed to it. Um, I'm gonna have to be super careful about this stuff next time. Uh, but, yeah... We're, d we're down to, like, half of our maximum cash reserves next publishing deal that I get, because I think there's really no way around it. I need to start getting into doing honest-to-God publishing deals, and for that matter, I'm gonna need a fourth guy before I make my next medium game, so... Uh, next time around, I'm gonna have to do small games uh, to try and uh, fix my stuff. Uh, new research available, multi-genre. Okay, so uh, sales are coming in. But anyways, that's another episode of Game Dev Tycoon, guys. Didn't work out too well. I'm so sorry. I'm hurting. Oh, my pride. Oh, God. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.